Frank Cowden writes, great show you at AMC Movie Talk put on. Keep it up. I was just <laughs> bored and watching Scott Pilgrim vs. the World with Mary Elizabeth Winston Fan. H anyhow, was there ever potential of a sequel to this fun 90-minute movie, or did the lack of success in theaters kill that long ago? The lack of its success in theaters killed mm. it, and killed it almost immediately. Scott Pilgrim, which is so unfortunate because Scott Pilgrim, so good. So fun. I loved Scott yeah. Pilgrim vs. the World. Now, I'll admit, I went into watching Scott Pilgrim vs. the World already a little bit biased for it because I'm a big Edgar Wright fan. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, that movie was charming. It was funny. It was quick-witted. It was, like, the pace was fantastic. It, I mean, and all the different, like, the seven evil exes. And all, <laughs> I mean, it was just so really, really well done that I, I've watched it like five, six, seven times. I've lost count. It's a fun movie. And for whatever reason, and I'm sure there are several reasons why, but very few people want to go see it. It lost the studio a lot of money. Um, now, whether it's because some people speculate it was because of Michael Sarah. People were just kind of sick of Michael Sarah at the time. No. And I admit, I was a little sick of Michael Sarah at the time. I, I was, but I still went to go give it a shot. Some people said, you know, it looked a little hipsterish. It did. Yeah, mm -hmm. even the marketing looked pretty hipsterish, and to a lot of people that turns them off. Okay, I get it. I'm not a huge fan of the hipster culture either, but <laughs> you know, I still want to go give it a shot because I'm a big Edgar Wright fan, right? Mm -hmm. But not everybody is like me who is going to go see it anyway just because it was Edgar Wright. And right. I really wish they would because I think if more people gave this film a chance, they would have fallen in love with it. Now, one of the other reasons that we probably won't ever see a... And, and, and look, I know Edgar Wright would like to do it, but... Him wanting to do it ain't going to make it happen. <laughs> it's no studio is going to put up the money for it. But one of the other things that I think would be a real roadblock to getting a sequel made is that if I'm not mistaken, and please guys correct me if I'm wrong, because I, full disclosure, I haven't read the Scott Pilgrim uh, graphic novels. But my understanding is there, there's a lot of them. And that one film actually took like all the major points from all from like a majority of them wow. and just kind of put them into one movie. So I think that becomes a little bit of a, a, of a problem and issue as well. But like I said, if I'm wrong about that, guys, jump in the comments section and correct me, please. Um, but for those reasons and others, nah, we're, we're never, I really doubt we're ever going to see another Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. But I would be awfully happy if we did. So would I. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.